this video you will learn how to export and import supermetrics, where to find additional examples, and I will give you a few tips regarding supermetrics in VRealize operations. My use case is I need to back up my supermetrics and import them when needed. The simplest way to export one or multiple supermetrics at once is to use the supermetrics export menu item. To quickly check if our simple backup works, let's delete few of the supermetrics we created in previous videos. As both supermetrics are still in use and referenced in policies, we get a warning message from VROPS and we need to confirm that action. We start the import process using the import menu item. We select the right file and for existing supermetrics we use the skip item option. For the existing supermetrics we get a message with the IDs of those existing supermetrics. And now we see our two deleted supermetrics back in the system. Another way of saving your content, including supermetrics, is using the Generate Export Content function in Content Management. Once the bundle has been generated, you can download the zip file. To demonstrate the import content functionality, let's first delete a few of the supermetrics. We select the Skip Items option for existing content, select a zip file containing every content, and start the import process. Importing the entire content may take few minutes. At the end we see the number of imported supermetrics and finally we see the metrics back in the system. One click on more supermetrics samples will get you to the VRealize Operation sample exchange where you can download more useful supermetrics. You can also go to sample exchange on VMware code and find VRealize Operations content including supermetrics. Here you can download supermetrics created by the community for the community. As already mentioned, Fargis' blog post is a real good source of use cases and their corresponding supermetrics. Now it's time for a few tips and tricks. When you start creating your own supermetrics, sooner or later you will see that error message when checking the syntax of a formula. Let's assume our use case is to see the ballooning in percent. And that's the formula we quickly created. We quickly check the formula in the preview mode and oops, obviously something's wrong with the formula. Maybe you have already noticed the color of the metric. It's orange, usually it's purple. Let's check it in the legacy view. Here we see that both metrics are referenced with a keyword attribute, which is wrong in that use case. We change both keywords to metric and test the formula again. Now the error message is gone. We can also test the formula in a preview mode without any issues. So what happened? Let's create that super metric again, but this time we will use a function, for example average, in the formula. And here's the reason for that error message. If you use metric type instead of metric, you need to apply a function to the formula. With a function applied to the formula, we can use the metric type or attribute to create a super metric. The dollar $value variable is a perfect way to make long and complex expressions easier to understand. Let's imagine we need to create a supermetric counting the number of VMs exceeding a predefined cost stop threshold. The dollar $value variable is referencing back to the metric we use in a formula and can be used easily in, for example, a WHERE expression. Another feature helping us create less complex supermetrics is the S statement. Let's assume we are creating a supermetric where we for example divide the max value of a metric by the min value of the very same metric. One way to do this is just use the entire reference to the metric in every part of the formula. But this is not very efficient, there is a better way to do this. You can simply give the metric an alias and use it in other parts of the formula. In this video you have learned how to export and import supermetrics where to find additional examples and I gave you a few tips around creation of supermetrics. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you don't miss the next part.